Hello, welcome to the Papyrus TV Africa. The news updates. First, the headlines. Lugo calls enough to prepare for possible separation. NNPP urges Tinubu to seek Jonathan's help on economy. Ohanese urges Tinubu to stop local government funds to states. Air could reach 10,000 naira per crate, span warns. Enugu government to relocate two slums from urban renewal. Ipman, Dangote Refinery, discuss direct false supply amid uncertainty. Sarap to Tinubu reverse new petrol price hike immediately. The news in full. Professor Sanya Abubakar Luga, a prominent northern leader and the fifth wazir in Castina, has urged the northern region to brace for the possibility of self-determination as calls for secession intensify in southern Nigeria. Speaking at a community forum organized by coalition of northern groups in Castina, Logan highlighted the need for unity and proactive measures to secure the North's future amid growing uncertainties. He pointed out the stark difference in solidarity between the North and the groups like the BN France, who have shown resilience in pushing for their rights. Logger, who drew attention to how southern regions have taken significant steps to address security concerns by formal regional outfits such as Amotekun, whereas the North has remained relatively inactive in this regard. Reflecting on Nigeria's history, Logger recalled warnings from early leaders about the challenges of merging the North and South. Stressing that the reunion remains fragile, he warned that if the South were to secede, the North will face difficulties unless it adequately prepares. CNG National Coordinator Jamilu Charanchi echoed these sentiments criticizing the focus on political contests over addressing Nigeria's deeper social, economic, and security issues. He called on communities to unite and take charge of their future to confront the country's challenges effectively. Meanwhile, the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, has advised President Bola Tinubu to consult former President Goodluck Jonathan to address Nigeria's worsening economic crisis following public outcry over the recent fuel price hike. The NNPC's increase in petrol prices to 1,030 in Abuja and 998 in Lagos has sparked outrage. NNPP National Secretary Dipo Ola Oyoku criticized the administration's handling of the economy, stating that it lacks effective solutions. He pointed out the decisions to remove fuel subsidies on the first day in office alongside floating the Naira was ill-considered, especially given the country's reliance on imported fuel. Ola Oyoku lamented that the government's appointments lack competence and expressed concern over the state of the nation. He expressed that Tinubu could seek help from experienced leaders like Jonathan, who mentioned the seven naira rates during his tenure to mitigate the ongoing economic hardships. Similarly, Ohaneza Ndibo, the leading Igbo sociocultural group, has called on President Bola Tinubu to suspend this release of funds to local governments nationwide, accusing state governors of misusing council allocations. In a statement on Sunday, Factional Secretary General Okechuku Isiguzoro described the governor's actions as serious affronts to democracy and a breach of local government autonomy. The group condemned governors for allegedly diverting funds intended for grassroots development and disregarding a Supreme Court's ruling that granted full autonomy to local councils. It accused state leaders of manipulating council administration through puppet chairmen and state electoral commissions, undermining the essence of local governments. Ohanese specifically criticized the Anambra state government for enacting a law that allegedly forces local councils to channel federal funds into states' accounts. The group warned Governor Charles Ludo to withdraw the controversial bill, noting it could harm his political prospects in the upcoming 2025 elections. The organization urged Tinubu to start withholding local government funds from October 2024 for states that persist in these unlawful practices.
In recent developments, the Poultry Association of Nigeria, PAN, has issued a stark warning that the price of crates of eggs could soon reach 10,000 naira if urgent actions aren't taken to address the impacts of rising fuel costs. The warning came during a press conference in Abuja to mark World Egg Day, where PAN's FCT Chapter Secretary, Musa Hakim, highlighted how increased transportation expenses and arbitrary freight prices hikes by millers are driving up costs. Hakim called for the federal government to declare an emergency in the egg production sector, stressing the decline in protein consumption and growing reliance on imported eggs. He said if the rising cost of transportation and feed continue, we could be looking at 10,000 naira per crate. For now, we've kept it at 5,500 naira out of consideration for the public's health. He further indicated that egg prices could soon climb to 6,000 naira as poultry feed costs continue to surge. Hakim criticized the lack of government intervention, noting that the last substantial aid in grain supply was three years ago. He also urged authorities to involve PAN in efforts to support the industry, pointing out the poultry sector has been neglected and left to struggle independently. Moving on, the Enugu state government has approved the relocation of Agu Oa and Ubo Lawrence slums to Apu Oga Nike Estate as part of an urban renewal initiative. Residents will be provided with two bedroom apartments and certificates of occupancy at the new site, which will feature modern amenities like paved roads, electricity, and recreational facilities. Commissioner for Works, Engineer Gerald Otiji, State that the relocation is the first step in addressing 25 identified slums across the city. Additionally, the state has partnered with Tutmwa Nigeria Limited to redevelop a dormant property in Abuja into luxury housing, aiming to boost the revenue. The government also discussed with upgrading Nnamdi Azikiwe Stadium and improving land management with the soon to be launched Enugu State Geographic Information Service, ENGIS. Furthermore, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, is in discussions with Dangote Refinery to directly lift premium motor spirits following the involvement of the Department of State Services, DSS, and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA. The talks aim to secure better pricing for marketers who have raised concerns over the cost of purchasing fuel from the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. Recently, Ipman criticized NNPCL for offering petrol at rates higher than the 898 naira per litre available at Dangote Refinery. The National Oil Company had also increased pump prices last week, setting the cost to 998 naira per litre in Lagos and over 1,000 in other states, sparking discontent among marketers and consumers alike. Ipman's national president, Abubakar Meigandi, disclosed the NNPCL has withheld around 15 billion naira owed to independent marketers over the past three months, adding to the group's grievances. Following the federal government's announcement that oil marketers can now negotiate directly with local refineries, NNPCL has agreed to withdraw from its role as middleman in fuel distribution. The Minister of Finance, Wale Edun, confirmed the change noting that marketers are encouraged to buy PMS directly from refineries like Dangote on commercially agreed terms, which should enhance competition and market efficiency. Although talks between Ipman and Dangote are ongoing, a representative from Ipman expressed hope that arrangements would lead to lower prices, allowing marketers to sell at more affordable rates. However, the terms have yet to be finalized, relieving Ipman still reliant on NNPCL in the interim. The exact pricing from Dangote Refinery remains unclear and it is yet to be determined whether the fuel will be available at a cheaper rate than current market prices. Meanwhile, Dangote Group's Chief Corporate Communications Officer, Anthony Chiegina, has not responded to inquiries regarding when the direct supply arrangements will commence. Conclusively, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has called on President Bola Tinubu to order the National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, to reverse the recent increase in petrol prices. SERAP's request comes amid a pending lawsuit at the Federal High Court in Abuja, challenging the legality of NNPCL's authority to raise fuel prices. 
The organization has filed a suit against both President Tinubu and NNPCL last month, arguing that the latest price hike was unlawful and urging a probe into alleged corruption and mismanagement within the NNPCL. The group's deputy director, Kolawale Oluwadari, emphasized in an open letter dated October 12, 2024, that the increase undermines the judicial process and threatens the pursuit of justice in the ongoing case. Oluwadari highlighted the principle of the rule of law, which holds that all individuals and institutions, including the president and heads of public entities, must be accountable to the law. He noted that the price hike could harm the integrity of the Nigerian constitution and disproportionately affects most vulnerable citizens. Serap insists that an immediate reversal is crucial to protect public interest and uphold the authority of the courts while the case is being heard. The Papyrus.